Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today I have another kit for you. This one's from Ravel, it's a brand new tool for 2021. Uh, it's the 148 scale SR71 Blackbird. Absolute beast of a kit, it's going to be a nice aeroplane hopefully when it's all done. Uh, the last time we had a SR71 in 148 I believe is an old testers kit. That was nasty, horrible, raised panel lines. Um, it's just a crap kit now, so we've got something nice and decent. Hopefully this is a decent aircraft from Ravel. Let's take a look what we get inside this box. So okay folks, I don't know how well you're going to see this in camera. It's a bit of an awkward camera angle to do because it's such a large box. Um, it's just arrived. Um, we have this side of the box, you've got 148 scale, 206 parts, it's going to be 68.2 uh, centimetres, so it's going to be massive. I think this, I believe, is the wingspan part, it's 35.3 centimetres, so big kit overall. Here, I believe, is the uh, kit number 04967. Ravel paints, like them or hate them, they're okay, they're not the best. We have a built-up model by Ravel. Um, this is nicely representing whoever built this, done a nice job, but it's not perfect in paint job, I don't think. You need to get that black down to a certain way, so it's not just like a massive black blob, basically. You need to get that weathering just right, so it's got the heat stains and stuff. Um, still sealed. I haven't looked inside this kit yet, so I don't know what to expect. Um, come on. One thing I have noticed though, it's a much sturdier box than it was before. Ravel normally do those side opening boxes or they're quite flimsy, but this is actually a, actually a sturdy box for a change. So straight off the bat you can see you can see the, the body of the airplane. It comes as two main, main parts. Um, off the bat the detail doesn't look too bad. We'll take a closer look at that. Um, I thought that was a chunk taken out of the kit, but it's not it's part of. Underneath this piece here, we have the rest of the uh, plane. So this is the uh, part of the wings. We have two of these, which is all engine detail. Here's turbines and fans and engine detail again. You've got the part of the nose cone in there. This bag contains the stand and more aeroplane. This is the support strut. All the things. Here's the other engine. My kit is number 25 by the looks of it. Clear parts. They don't look too bad. And the important instruction. So we're going to get this. So we have the Ravel, uh, Ravel instructions. I do like the instructions. They have changed them up a hell of a lot. So this looks like markings. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. The uh, safety warnings and typical uh, Ravel. Their new way of telling you uh, certain icons. Um, how to do decals, time out for weight, time for glue and paint. Paint on the sprue. Uh, people complain about that, I don't know why, I don't know what the issue is. All their symbols, drill holes, add weight, just pay attention to everything. It's all in different languages as well. And it goes on to reveal colours, either you like them or you don't. And then if you don't, you're going to have to do a reference. They do a lot of colour mixes, which is can be a bit, a bit of a pain sometimes. Sprue layout, this is a good way of checking everything's in the kit. Everything should be all there. 
here's your engine details straight off the bat we looks like we have the lower plate we have that wing spar I was correct and we have some support gussets this piece is up by the front where part of the landing gear is so don't forget to paint these sections drill a couple of holes doesn't it say, say what they're for so I think this could be for the base to slot into if you're not having a base then don't worry about this um, where is the base it's a quick nosy probably going to be towards the back yeah so it must be these two pins is for these two holes so if you're not going to have it on a base then don't worry about it and then this section here makes up the uh, front wheel well and it looks like this is asking for some paint go to page four if you're doing the B version which will be uh, sorry section four which is up here The internal colour, the wheel well is H and their, their H colour calls out for uh, aluminum or silver inside. So this is the front wheel well. <clears throat> you can go inside the lower, lower fuselage section. And then the main landing gears, the two halves, some beefy landing gear. This section here make up the other landing gear on the uh, other side underneath the wing section I believe which is here and here uh, these more landing gear segments these are those pieces nicely done flipping the uh, section over just to make sure the legs are in the right position put the covers on and then we work on the cockpit so we have what looks like a two-piece ejector seat or a seat and you got painted up I'm um, not sure if the cushions are moulded in and I'm not sure if the seat belts are moulded in I'm hoping they're not there is no pilot figures with this kit we have a little bathtub hole for the cockpit area instrument panel seat goes in shouldn't be much detail in there um, and the way the canopy is is quite uh, small and the visual ports are quite the clear uh, windows are very small so I don't think you would see a lot inside this cockpit anyway um, I am waiting for a couple of parts hopefully manufacturers will make them I do want an Edward set for this for the cockpit even though you're probably not going to see it um, and this is a couple of bits so I probably do want for this I want some resin wheels maybe maybe some exhaust nozzles I just like those crisper ones from um, resin so just a couple of upgrades they're not quite out yet because the kit's only just been released so I'm going to wait a little while before I build this but once the cockpit tub's been done it slots into the lowest fuselage section you've got to build two of those sorry you can have a front and a rear we have this section here which is I'm actually not sure what that is could be one of the cameras I don't know that goes in as well it's like we have two types um, upper section now around the cockpit area it's got been painted looks like grey sandwiching everything together so I wouldn't try and glue it all in one go glue clamp glue clamp as you go along nicely to make sure everything's nice tight fit putting the towel on these are like part of the turbines part of your exhaust system so as you work your way along part of the intakes triangle cone is is what's visible at the front of the airplane repeating the process again on the other side now these make up the uh, exhaust nozzles again I want to try and replace these with uh, resin probably because I think it just looks a little bit nicer there's nothing wrong with the kit parts but I just like having that little bit crisper detail because at the end of the day the the main bulk of the airplane and the visual parts is going to be the engines and the body itself so you want to try and make those clean and sharp as crisp as possible repeating the process and then attaching your intakes engines and wings all together 
So you'll be doing that again twice, left and right, if you should hear. And then touching your uh, exhaust nozzles at the end. Again, same same side. And then touching the wings. And engines. Nose cone or nose going on. They look like there's two types of nose. And we have the uh, little fins at the back. Uh, landing gear doors. This is for open or close option. Landing gear itself. Looks like it's done in either silver or grey. Touching landing gear, landing gear doors. Wheels are two piece. Again, if they do make resin wheels, I'll probably would swap them out. But otherwise, I just use kit parts. Touching your wheels. It's got six wheels underneath and then two at the front. So it's quite beef landing gear. Landing gear doors. And then repeating the process again on the other side. Touching a couple of lumps and bumps all over, like pitot tubes and stuff. Now we're going in. I would leave that towards the end because no doubt you would end up snapping it off. Front windshield going in. Hopefully it's a nice fit. Any canopy open or closed option, which is a nice touch as well. Again, I will want an Eddard mask, even though it's a couple of windows. You probably could mask up myself, but I'm just lazy. I like using my masks. And then a turn of chance into the actual engines itself, which are displayable on the base at the bottom. So in, uh, turbines by the looks of things, then the actual exhaust nozzle, and then we have the actual engine detail parts. I believe they looks like they're going to come in several parts to make up the circle section. I don't think these engines would actually fit inside the aeroplane, and um, you would, wouldn't want to stick them in the aeroplane anyway because you wouldn't see them. So it's a nice they give you extra something else to display. So they ask you to paint them as you go along. You probably want to put them all together and then paint it. So we have all the pipes um, as you go along. I, K, and L. I, if I remember right, is the uh, aluminum. K and L is probably burnt iron or something. K is a mixture of iron and black. So it's a dark iron, basically. And L, they're calling that for, is a, cu a custom mix of iron and rust. So a, uh, a brownie colour. Just check your references, detail up as much as you can, a little bit of wiring and all that should come up nicely. Um, so once your engines are all done, you can work you on your base. It doesn't give you, it gives you a colour for the base, but you can paint it whatever you want. They give you a colour for A, which is probably black. Uh, a is, um, I can't pronounce that, it's like, like a dark grey. You can paint the base whatever you want, but if you're going to use the base, you've got your little legs and then your main main, main uh, support for the aeroplane and the little legs are for the engines. Engines going on, aeroplane for display. It's going to be, as I say, it's going to be, it's going to be massive. It'll take up my, at least my whole of my workbench to build this. Um, I probably going to hang it off the wall. I'll probably make it a wall hanger maybe. This section here, it probably might clamp it around here maybe if it's strong enough around the whole body I don't know but we shall see first section here is all the stencil data for one of the schemes um, I would probably stick all the stencils on this because it's all going to be visible um, you don't want to paint this black you want to try and get that weather heat mark shield effect into it um, underside of this scheme it's got the giant white cross, side profiles, again more dispense, uh, stencil data. We have this scheme here, side profile, which looks like a um, squirrel. Here's the top profile. And stencil data for it. Underside, this one doesn't have the white cross. And then we have the same 
squirrel but we have a little bit of different marking on top it has <clears throat> one of the Air Force symbols this is in red and then this one here this doesn't give you a stencil data strangely enough stencil data is probably going to be the same as the other two and then side profile of this one um, this one here is 1997 uh, in Edward base in the USA uh, 1974 New York to London in one hour and 54 minutes uh, March 1990 Los Angeles to Washington in 64 minutes <laughs> damn this one here this black bird here is low vis version um, doesn't give a date go back this one is the low vis version Air Force um, Edward base again this one 1972 to 1984 again it's done the uh, world record speed test in 1976 of a thousand kilometers or 2,992 point miles per hour uh, 8th, uh, 28th of July 1976 uh, speed record again of 15.25 I don't understand these anyway it's again of 2193.17 miles per hour and this this one here is high vis version um, it doesn't give a date so there's your markings and instructions doesn't look too difficult We have some nice markings uh, printed in Italy. Uh, hopefully, they're calligraphed. I imagine they are. They look like it. The instrument panels actually don't look too bad. But we've got the US symbols. Carrot film in between this is not too bad. This is what I was on about. These car the carrot film on these are uh, actually really close, right up against edge. And some of it you can't really see. And going back to Eddard decals, they're absolute crap. And the carrot film is just diabolical and these are it looks like calligraph and I'm, i wish i'd say they should go back to him but not 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 about Eddard anymore this is about this kit and these are good decals these are going to be nicely this is all your stencil data up the top your stars and bars and then your serial numbers for the aircraft these are the walkways no step areas <clears throat> air force symbols so all nicely done you have is it four marking options within this kit so it's nicely done more stencil data down the bottom here if i <coughs> sound a little bit weird i am getting over a cold and a bit of a flu a bit rough today so main body let me uh disconnect this section so what i've done is removed it from the uh sprue it's easier to uh keep i've left some chunky tabs on there i don't want to go right up close i'll clean it up later when i come to build it so we can see some of the nice detail we have all this raised uh not raised sorry the recess section on the wing i, I don't know what none of this is for i'm not an expert on uh the sr71 the recess panel lines are quite shallow you might want to Rescribe this maybe if you want a little bit of a deeper line, but shouldn't be too bad. We have this triangle section at the front here, which is all nicely done. Here's the front part where the cockpit will go. It's definitely a nice sturdy plastic. This is the lower section. Again, it's got that same texture. Nicely done. There isn't any rivets over this. Um, if you want to rivet it up and just check your references and make sure everything's nice and crisp you might want to do that um being that i've cut it off the sprue how well is this going to go together do we have a rough idea nope it's not going to because i need to cut this off and get it slotted into that hole so i can't really tell
track top goes together nicely. The wings go together nicely. This seems to slot in there okay. So yeah, that seems all right. So first bag. We've got a couple of screws in here. Just check, make sure nothing's missing or come off. Looks good to me. So this one here, we have the nose. So we have a lower and two upper sections with some slight differences. Again, it's got that really fine detail. I don't know how well it's gonna pick up on camera. There's a cockpit tub, or one of the cockpit tubs. I noticed this one hasn't got a um, instrument panel marking on it so is it they've done that deliberately for fellow to come out at a later date and this one is raised uh, or is that part of something else but that looks pretty good for plastic so does the cockpit little tub that's not too bad so here we have this is part of the landing gear Landing gear doors, these are structural parts for inside. This is part of the uh, landing gear doors, structural parts. This is landing gear. So, again, nicely done. This is the front support landing gear doors. No ejector pins on there, not what I could see. These are landing uh, gear segments as well inside the wheel wells. These are the closed doors by the looks of things. So nicely done. We've got jet to pins on these, but these are I think on the outside and these ones at this side is the inner, so you're not gonna see the jet to pins, so it should be no problem. But this doesn't look too bad. The plastic is I don't know, it's a bit chunky on this one. It's part of the engines, no doubt this is probably slow molded the way it's done. I don't know how we can see this detail on the inside. It looks okay, but I just want, I don't know, I just want something a bit more crisper. So I want, I do want resin it when they come out. Here are your landing gear doors. Oh, sorry, not landing gear doors, your landing gear itself. Are they going to be strong enough in plastic to hold the weight of the airplane? We really need to replace them for the uh, metal ones, I don't know. Hopefully they're going to be strong enough. This is part of the uh, landing gear door. Don't know what these lumps and bumps are for though. Might be for oil. Just looks like more doors. And these are more engine parts. Nicely, nicely done. So there's two of these. I'm only going to open one of these because this is one of the engines. So this is going to be a little kit in itself kind of thing so we have the four sections that make up the engine and then these are the uh, brackets for the stand the pipes so here is all the piping and detail a little bit more wiring on top of that should come up nicely There's legs and, and pipes. These pipes are slot into these holes. If you're wondering what those big holes are for. So here's the nozzle for it. And turbines. Nicely done with Val. This is definitely an improvement on the uh, old testers kit for sure. Much better. Be careful with this nose cone. More turbines, fans, 
there's that giant nose cone got wheels on here as well and part of the uh, jet to seat there's your jet to seat it has got molding and seat belts which is a bit of a shame really um, and pitot tubes just be careful taking them off So this such, this giant piece is part of the wing assembly. So we we have that texture again. It's nicely done. It's quite faded. We have a couple of rivets down here, but the texture's quite softly moulded though it's there but it is a little bit softer than I, I than I imagined and then we have the other side which you'll part of your wings to slot into so I believe these are these two together and these go together it's one of these or one of these and then one of these so it is nicely done if anyone knows what these are these grooves are for Feel free to comment, it's probably to do with airflow and stuff. Um, this bag was the other engine, so you don't need to see that. We looked at it. Clear parts why I'm here. I would have liked these to be protected a little bit more instead of being shoved in one bag. They don't look too bad. See, there's only a couple of windows. The frosty part is paint, but you've got two windows, so masking these should be really easy. And they're not raised, so should be too difficult. My clear parts don't seem too bad. I've got no scuffing. They seem nice and crisp and clean to me. So here's the front wheel shield. I think this is the part of the back and this is part of the cockpit, if I'm not mistaken. Or one of them is the Rio. Flight engineer is it, wherever they are, or wherever they are. Get them back in there nicely. And last bag is the stand and intakes and stuff so there's not a ton of parts for this kit it should make up a not should make up to be a nice model so we have this weird owl shaped sprue so we have part of the uh rings for the engines to go into this is support brackets there's another tub for one another the uh, pilots to go into sit sit into and we have your wings little wings at the back or oh, they're molded as one piece these are molded as uh, two pieces so you've got an insert to go in here again the details nicely done though And then this chunky sprue, big hefty base, should go nicely with your display if you're going to display it like that. But I'm probably going to, like I say, I'll make mine a wall hanger maybe. This is going to slot into these grooves, your engine's going to sit along here. And then you can paint this whatever you wish, whatever colour you wish. And last sprue, big chunky sprue, this massive piece at the bottom, top. So this massive superstructure support piece inside to keep the airplane from being rigid. These look like part of the uh, 
outer section of the engines intakes which you're not going to see flaps some more wing section more intakes and then we have more instrument panels with and without detail the tail pointy tail bit it's not damaged or anything it's meant to be like that so here's the other cockpit section intakes they are numbered as well these are intake sections. I think these are on the inside because you've got numbers on them. I don't think you're going to see them. But some stringy plastic there. And then this structural part. Really hefty. Do you know this doesn't look too bad? This looks much better than the testers kit. I do like this. Nice and crisp and clean. So there you are folks. That's it.